Hello everybody, welcome back to the Chance Davis Road to the Show Series, episode 29 here on the PS5, MLB 21, you know how it is. After the last one, we finally achieved our silver archetype, which we chose to be filthy cheese over the filthy, or, um, painted cheese, which is the control we did movement, um, and, you know, obviously the main being velocity, and then for the gold, we'll get some control boosts and, uh, a little, I believe it'll be like mostly velo, uh, maybe like plus 40 on velo, plus 30 on break, and plus 20 on control, I guess, is what they'll do. Um, but to now to accomplish the goals, it's going to take a lot. Um, the repeatables are eight innings pitched and 10 strikeouts. That's going to be over two starts probably every time. And I still need 100, and we're just now starting. So we've got a lot of room to go or to grow, and a lot of time to do it. We're still in AAA. We're still 19 years of age. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's check out... Um, let's get into this episode and really check out what we did last time out. Um, let's just check out our season stats. Our last start was phenomenal over seven innings. 2-0 with a .39 ERA. Two out of our four of them in quality starts. That's kind of wild. 23 innings pitched, and 24 strikeouts, and... Um, yeah, we've been really good. Let's not lie to ourselves here. Um, I thought about changing my pitching from pulse to pinpoint. I wanted to try it really bad, um, but I um, I just I just decided not to. Um, I need to practice with it at least uh, before we bring it into this second um, number wise. I don't believe there's a twenty eight take. Ah, he is. Adam Frazier. I don't care if you change your number. I just didn't want to change Matt Chapman's. Uh, I saw a comment that I actually... I like the idea of changing our number to 32. But if you know anything about our last series... Uh, ooh, 27 kind of looks sick. We're going to rock 27. I guess we'll rock 31, actually. We don't get to choose. I'd rather rock 26 right now than 31. Can we rock 29? No. <laughs> it looks like 31 was the next available. Can I rock 26? Yeah, I can. Okay. Let's wear 22 for now uh, and see if, actually, well, you know, I, I should stop. I, let's just wear our number 26 throughout double A, or throughout triple A, and if we want to change in the majors, we can. It's, it's not really a big deal. Um, and the majors, though, the athletics are 9 and 10. Um, we saw the other guy's stats. Last episode, we'll check some more at the end of this one, but let's go ahead and get into this. Time to shine a spotlight on a prospect with some helium, starting to get some major buzz around his future. Al Leiter joins me, and Al, are you ready to say he's going to be a success at the big league level or not? Could be. I mean, look, there's a reason why uh, people are talking about him. The talent is there. I mean, it oozes all over the place. You see the athleticism. You know what they're capable of uh, with respect to what scouts like. And it's usually like, the package you know does he have the it factor and i think that's what we see but i think you have to be careful and you have to slow down because sometimes the famous kid who was ranked since high school or college or all these different rankings there you know they haven't they haven't played in the big leagues yet and i think sometimes that gets ahead of actually what they're actually doing on the field so you really have to be careful of 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 yes appreciate the talented player but Let's not put him in the Hall of Fame yet. They haven't played in the big leagues yet. And it's unfair to start comparing them to some of the game's greats before they even set foot on a major league field. Sometimes it's the kiss of death. I mean, you know, I, I hear you hear some really, that's why I never like to do that. You look at a guy, we always try to do comps, right? I look at guys and I say, I want to comp this player to somebody who I know or played with or, you know, a legendary player. It's really unfair because if that gets legs and the kid hasn't done anything yet, it could really hurt them. Quite the lengthy podcast there. Uh, but 
We've got some uh, options here. None of these are interesting me at all. Um, for new pitches, and I don't think we want to add that one until we are at least a gold archetype. I'm probably around 85 overall. We could add <coughs> some change-up control. Sink or break, not necessary. Sinker velocity, nah. Sinker and change up control, yeah. I'd say this needs some work, let's do it. Not doing the mini game that coincides with it. We'll pitch versus Reno here in JB Bukaskis. Uh, 2 0 with 23 innings pitched, 24 strikeouts, and a .39 ERA. Marcus Brito is playing short for us today. Uh, lots of potential in that guy. Um, we're facing the team we faced last time out. We crushed them last time. Hopefully they have some sort of idea of how to hit us this time. Or hopefully they don't. My bad. Not many friendships right now. We don't get a control boost, but a minus 2% confidence strain. That does something at least. Show's coverage of the minor leagues continues as we make a stop in the 10-team at AAA West. Tonight we wrap up this three-game series. Both teams at 6-11 and 11 as we head into this one. JB's having a tough AAA season so far, so let's see if we can capitalize on that and continue to beat up on this team. He's 0-2 with a 5.93 ERA. We'll go 1-2-3, though. And we'll step on the mound for the first time as a silver archetype. Ah, our fastball does... Extend up to a 100 mile per hour range. Oh, not right now, Dave. Didn't get the call there. Pretty sure if we're fine with this umpire. He swings through the changeup. And our sinker also can reach 96 now. Before it was 95. That's inside. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. See if we can maybe get another strike with the changeup. That's on the down the line. It will get down the line. He's gonna go two. Get it in. Throw into second. He's in there with a lead off double. Norman Wallace. Ninety six misses one of That's center. That's down, and that will score a run with ease. It's already one nothing Reno. Two straight hits. That's the that ties our amount of runs given up on the season. Right, let's calm down. That's flown out to straight away left. And one down. Okay. Yeah, we just need to settle down a little bit. One down. He might be going soon. Need to watch him. Not on this one, he won't. Down the middle, but he's behind it. Seuss is there, two down. Justin Goto. Not focused on the runner. Good slider at 91. He goes there. Fouled off, 0 2. Leaving some over the plate. You want to chase that? Nope. Try it again. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will that one bounces. No chance he's chasing that. Fastball. Fouled off. And 98. If we can throw it for a strike, it's strike three. Running slider in on him. Good spot, but he fouls it off. And we're up near... 20 pitches now. This will be our 18th. Sinker misses. 3-2. He's moving. Yeah, 
fastballs fouled off. Goodness gracious. Haven't been able to retire him yet. On the ground, it will be foul. Change up. Roped foul. Wow. Not a clue where to go from here. Sinker walks him on like 10 or 11 pitches. What an at bat by Brian Navarito. And that change up will be strike one. We get the call there. Thanks, Blue. Change up. How did you touch that? I just question that. Up, up top and fouled off. Sinker freezes him. Okay, we give up one and a couple runners uh, get on, but they strand him, so we're still in this. And uh, let's calm down and really pitch well here. Nothing going on for the Aviators there. Drew Ellis, the seven hole, comes up. O2. Up top with the fastball. Got him to wave through it. Second strike out of the day. That added K per nine helping out a little bit. Vernon Ruiz steps up. Wow, wave through that one. Bad pulse. Be good though. Not great. Sinker low and out. That's right down the middle, but he waved through it. Way late. Four seam up top. Good eye. 99. 2-2 two, two to Vernon Ruiz. Get a piece. How about a change up? 2-2. Two, two. Got him waving through it. Change up at 84. Ruiz swings through it. Third strikeout and two down here in the second. Tyler Wade steps up. One of Max Hamilton's good teammates. In our old Max Hamilton series. We hit with the fastball at 99. 0-2. Outside slider. How's that extra break working? Fine, that'll be a ground out. End of the second. 1-2-3 there. And we need our aviators to come through with something here. Please, guys, please help us out. There you go. Uh, uh. Single will start in three straight strikeouts. Wallace hit a changeup last time for a weak ground ball double. 1-0. Sinker will get him to foul it off. 1-1. Wallace is a pretty tall character, isn't he? Good pitch. 98 on the inside. Hart. Back door, chance for chance. Whoa. That was something. Good slider. Got him swinging. Back door, chance for chance. Hmm. Good movement on that. Let's go for a first pitch. Roped and foul. Oh no, and fair. One out, sing, one out double. I thought that was going to get foul for sure. 
Gary Waters steps up. One one. Fastball low and it's fouled off. Run a little on him. And it's fouled away. Eh, good try with the sinker. Change up. Got him to swing through that one. Two down. Fifth K of the day. We gotta get those K uh, program points. Repeatable every ten. And thirty, sixty, and ninety are the numbers you have to hit. He's going. He takes. Throw down. Will not get him. Did we not get the call either? Oh. Tough. We'll go another change up here. Good pitch. Strike two. Inside slider. Not going to hit a spot. 2-2. Two, two. Same idea. Deep left and foul. He's early on fastball side. I believe the changeup might do the job. And we got him to go. Six Ks on the day. Chance getting his best strikeout, strikeout stuff on. Strikes out the side there, except for that double, of course. And we still can't get anything going. Into the fourth here. Right down the middle, strike one. Justin Goto, second on the aces and RBIs. Hitting 259 on the young season. That's fouled off 0-2. A little late there, so we'll attack. Four seam. It's really worked well today. Let's see if we can get it to work again. Yes, we will at 97. That four seam is doing a lot of good work, and we're striking out a lot today. Our seventh K of the day. Miss there. Where do I want to go with this? Right there. Outside corner. Nope. Base hit into right. Left it a little too far over the plate. Seven hitter Drew Ellis will step up. He goes opposite field and foul. That's fair down the line. Cut it off. Don't let him score. You can try if you want. He's going to get hosed, right? He's hosed at the play. Great cutoff. Two down. Strange choice to send him. Vernon Ruiz steps up. That's foul. Good pitch. We won't get the call. Open base here. Nine hole coming up. Be careful to him. 2 2. Sinker. Good pitch. 3 2. Some pitchers fall into the trap of getting in on 3 and 2 because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. Deep left and foul. But he's sitting fastball, so. Change up. Got him way out in front. 8 Ks on the day through 4 innings. What a day for chance. Hopefully we get to throw the fifth. You know how our manager is. Goodness gracious, he won't even let us throw the fifth. 
Wow, so we're not in line for the win. Unbelievable. Our guys still haven't put a run on. We got two on and two score, and we will not get the loss today. It's all tied, though. And the aces win, and extras. Okay. Tough. To Gotta get our stamina up. Case for days, though. Four innings pitched, five hits, eight strikeouts, and a walk, and an er one earned run for Chance Davis. I mean, a little strange they pulled us so early, but it is what it is. We struck out the side in the third, struck two out in both the second and the fourth, and got the one in the first. A little bit of XP for the second inning program, and of course we are making progress towards every single um, program completion thing and you know you know what I'm talking about uh, we need to work on stamina apparently a lot uh, progressed slider break uh, oh wait no we need sinker break is up to a 36 now and that and change up break is up to a 37 okay so two of them go up to the next level slider break is de slider break is definitely next. Still a 71, and we did get some in our program, but we didn't get any of these, any of them yet. We'll get four innings in our next start, hopefully. We'll definitely have five after our next one, and then we're working towards these, of course. Um, we'll see how those come along when we get them. But, yeah, let's check on our boys out in, up in Majors. The A's are at 13 and 11, had a good little week while we were not playing, or while uh, we simmed. We're only a half game back in the wild card, how about that? Up in the majors, Cam Jackson, 300, Adam Turner, 287, two homers, six steals, and 10 RBIs. Okay, he's going to be so good. Max lost his first game and he's at a 2.0 ERA. Oh no, <laughs> it is what it is. This is a terrible rotation other than him. This guy could be good. I mean, I don't know why this guy's not playing. But yeah, Ross Stripling's having a decent year. He's hurt. Hmm, interesting. They have some potential, no doubt. Anyways, that's it for uh, this episode today. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. To the channel, that's Chance Davis, episode 29 in the books.